today we will be looking at the Adidas RX24 Carbon and the Adidas RX24 Compo 1. From now on I will simply refer to them as the Alex24 Carbon and the Alex24 Compo 1. Here are the stats. These are two very similar sticks with the same bow and the same carbon plate feature. There are two main differences however. The first being the head shape. The head shape of the carbon stick is a 3D head whereas the head shape of the compo is just a normal head. However, the biggest difference comes in the carbon content of the sticks. The Alex24 Carbon features 90% carbon, whereas the Alex24 Compo 1 only features 70% carbon. Now we know the differences, let's see how much of a difference they actually make. This is just a comparison video between the two sticks. If you'd like an in-depth review, we have two videos on both of the sticks already. We'll put links to them down below. Make sure you go check them out. Dribbling When it came to dribbling, both sticks perform well. The 90% carbon of the Alex24 carbon gives the stick a nice amount of stiffness and I really enjoy the feeling when dribbling with it. The 70% carbon gives the Alex24 Compo 1 a softer touch. The ball doesn't bounce with your stick as much as with the Alex24 carbon and it gives you better control. This is down to personal preference whether you prefer a harder or softer touch but both sticks were great for dribbling. Aerials Since both sticks had the same bow, it was just as easy to pop the ball into the air. However, once you pop the ball into the air and are trying to do more advanced aerial skills, the Alex24 Compo 1 with the 70% carbon gives you better control in the air. So for me personally, I preferred the Alex24 Compo 1 for aerials. Spinning when it came to spinning, the Alex24 Compo 1 was decent. The Alex24 Carbon on the other hand was great for spinning. The 3D head made a huge difference making it very easy to get the ball into the head of the stick. So for spinning, the Alex24 takes it. Passing and receiving Both sticks perform well when it came to passing. The bow that the sticks feature makes passing very easy and gives you great control. Personally, I didn't notice a difference in the amount of power I was able to be used in my passes between the two sticks, even though the one is more carbon than the other. Receiving Here the carbon difference was noticeable. The Alex24 carbon was good for receiving, but it had a bit of a hard touch. The Alex24 Compo 1, on the other hand, had a very soft touch and was very forgiving on your first touch. So for me, the Alex24 Compo takes receiving. Slapping It was very interesting as the Alex24 Carbon gave you a bit more power when slapping. However, I preferred the feel of the Alex24 Compo 1. The difference was so minimal between the two sticks that once again it's down to personal preference of the stiffer Alex24 Carbon or the softer Alex24 Compo 1. Both sticks were great for slapping due to the shape of their bows. Overheads Since both sticks have the same bow, overheads were very similar with both sticks. They were both okay when it came to overheads. However, I feel the softer touch of the Alex24 Compo 1 made it slightly easier to throw overheads. However, it wasn't a big difference. Penalty strokes Both sticks perform well when it came to penalty strokes, even though their bows are made for it. With a bit of focus and the right technique, you can really get some great penalty strokes with both these sticks. If anything, the softer touch of the Alex24 Compo 1 made it slightly easier to get under the ball and gave you a bit more control. But once again, it was very close. Drag flicking once again, since both sticks have the same bow, they performed equally well. They were both quite good for drag flicking, even though it's not what they are designed for. The sticks were great if you're learning to drag flick or drag flick part time. 
So both sticks are good for drag flicking and I think this is a draw. Shooting. The bow on both sticks gave you great control and consistency when shooting. The Alex24 Compo 1 does not produce the same amount of power with a 70% carbon. However, if you hit it in the sweet spot of the stick, you can still get some decent power. The Alex24 Carbon, on the other hand, has 90% carbon and it produces a lot more power. So when it comes to shooting, the Alex24 Carbon takes it, as it's just as consistent but offers you the more power. Back sticks. The Alex24 Compo 1 struggled a little bit with consistency and I found myself often getting under the ball when hitting. The Alex24 Carbon on the other hand was very consistent and produced a lot of power and you didn't have to worry about hitting the ball higher than you wanted to. The Alex24 Carbon performed better when it came to back sticks. Overall, these are two great sticks. The Alex24 Carbon offers you more power and is better for shooting and back sticks, but it does have a harder touch. The Alex24 Compo gives you more of assistance when flicking and performing aerial skills as well as receiving. Both sticks are very well rounded. I think the Alex24 Carbon would be better suited to a more attacking player who wants to score goals, whereas the Alex24 Compo 1 would be better suited to a playmaker who likes to give assists or who controls the tempo of the game with quick passing and receiving. Thanks so much for watching, we really appreciate the support, it means a lot to us. We have a lot planned for you guys, so make sure you subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and leave a comment. We have something special planned that we can't wait to show you, so make sure you stay tuned. Catch you on the next one.